Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how you can easily edit a photo in Photoshop and if I told you want to download this image file along simply like this video and also check the links in the description of this very video so that you can download the raw image to follow along. So in order to edit a photo in Photoshop, you're going to be undertaking three simple steps. One is editing the raw image in camera raw. Then the second is going to be skin retouching and the third is going to be color grading. So those are the three steps you have to undergo while editing this very image. So step number one, import the image into Photoshop or to open the image in camera raw. So just come to the image that you want to edit and simply drag the image to your Photoshop after opening it in order to open the image using as a camera raw filter. So I'll just come to my image and drag and drop it in Photoshop. So that is step number one for editing your photo. So when you drag and drop the image into Photoshop, it automatically opens up the camera raw filter as you can see. So step number one is editing the raw image. So just come and correct the highlights. So take the highlights down and also take the whites down to recover information in the blown out areas like her outfit. And also going to take the blacks down and open up the shadows of this very image and come and add some contrast to the image around 13 is okay because when I'm shooting I tend to eliminate the contrast when I'm shooting the image and I'll slightly open up the exposure of this very image and you can see the before after before after nothing crazy has been done so far to the image so I'll just open up the shadows a little bit more so after doing that, I'll just come and open the image into Photoshop for us to do the next adjustments, that is the skin retouching process. So I'll simply click on open in order to open the image in Photoshop. So in Photoshop, this is step number two for editing your photos, which is going to be the skin retouching. And in order to do skin retouching, we're basically going to be using frequency separation. And remember, frequency separation divides the image into the colors and the textures. So just come to the background layer right here and simply press Ctrl J or you can use Command J on the keyboard. So press Ctrl J twice to open the image in two, two layers and simply name this to color and name the up layer to texture. So you double click on the name to rename it. And after creating these two layers just come and select the color layer and turn off the texture layer you know going to come right here to filter blur come to gaussian blur take the radius slider of the gaussian blur all the way down to 0 0.1 and click on an area that has more textures on the skin so just come to the radius slider and simply start dragging up the radius slider as you are releasing so the point here is we just want to slightly blur away the details from the skin so at around 3, that is when I'm just starting to, to lose out on the details in the skin. I'll click OK. Just come to the texture layer and now activate it. Then simply come to image and come to apply image. And it's going to open up the apply image window. So you can see the source is the name of the image. Just come to layer and select color. Blending, select add. And the reason for selecting add is because we are editing a 16-bit image. Opacity at 100%. Preserve transparency and mask cannot check. The scale is 2, offset 0, and make sure you turn on the invert option. And as soon as you do this, you can see the textures on this gray layer, which is lacking colors. But if at all you're editing an 8-bit image, just come and make sure the invert option is not turned on. Make sure the layer is color. Channel RGB as usual. Blending for 8-bit is going to be subtract. The scale is 2, offset 108. And you see this textures on this gray layer so ours is 16 so i'll just change this to 16 bit settings click ok change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to linear light and after doing that select both layers then press ctrl g or you can use command g on the keyboard and you can rename this to frequency separation so it is time to work on the skin and smoothen the skin so open up the group by clicking on the drop down arrow and select the color layer in this case. Then come to the brushes, right click and get the mixer brush tool. And if at all you can't locate the mixer brush tool under the brushes, you can locate it down here. 
So after selecting the brush, every tool you select in Photoshop, its settings are always going to display above here. So the Mr. Brush tool has been selected. Come and select the hardness of 0% and soft round brush is selected. Make sure you select clean brush and select the second option that is clean brush after each stroke. Weight is 9%, load 75, mix at 90, flow at 100%. Make sure sample all layers is not turned on. And after doing that, just come and turn off the texture layer and it's time to smoothen the skin. So increase on the size of the brush by using the bracket keys on the keyboard or the box bracket keys on the keyboard and start painting to blend colors on the skin. So to paint, you simply left click and hold down and paint. And if at all you're using a graphics tablet, you simply have to use the pen and draw over the areas that you want to blend or to mix. So you can see by just doing this, we are smoothing the skin. And if at all the Mr. Brush tool is displaying a plus icon, simply press the caps lock key on the keyboard to deactivate the, the plus icon. So I'm just going to paint just like that. So mix colors that are looking alike and follow the direction or the shape of an area you're trying to work on and have to keep on playing with different sizes of the brush depending on how big or how small the area you're trying to smoothen is so you can see i've increased on the size and by the as you're doing this don't zoom all the way in because when you zoom all the way in you can't see where to mix and where not to mix so always retouch at a distance or when you have zoomed out so this is what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the skin area for the smoothening part of the skin. So when it comes to the face, since the face is a little bit far, you can reduce on the size and follow the direction of the face or how skin is flowing on the face. Mix the highlights alone, mid-tones alone and the shadows alone. And where these colors are transitioning from one color to another, just use a very tiny brush and blend on that given area to create a smooth and harmonious transition between the tones or skin tones in that area so you can see right now the skin is getting to look smoother than it was initially before so we're going to come to the lower part of the body remember don't forget the legs because this is part of the smoothening process we have to smoothen each and every area that has skin so that we can create that kind of smoothening feel in just Photoshop. So reduce on the size and also come and work on a smaller area to blend the tones. You can see that we have dark tones here. So I'll mix the dark tones alone, mix the mid tones alone, and also mix the bright colors of the skin alone. So you have to keep on playing with different sizes of the brush depending on how big the area you want to blend is so i'll just blend those areas and you can see right now we have blended majority almost of the areas of the skin so just come and turn on the texture layer and as soon as you turn it on you can see that the model skin has now been smoothened and it looks smooth than where we started so let me show you a quick before and after so this is the image before after before after before after so after smoothening the skin, we just want to remove the pimples or blemishes. So select the texture layer and come and get the clone stamp tool. Make sure the hardness is set to zero. Mode is normal, opacity 100%, flat 100%. You can now zoom into the image by using Ctrl plus on the keyboard. Zoom all the way in because it is time to remove the pimples or blemishes. So to remove a pimple with the texture layer selected, the clone sample tool settings, mode is normal, past at 100%, flat at 100%, measure sample is set to current layer. So to remove a pimple, hold down the option key on the keyboard and left click on a clean area near the pimple and release the option key on the keyboard or release the alternate key on the keyboard and left click once again over the pimple. To replace that pimple with clean skin and in that way, the pimple is going to be removed or eliminated from your model or from your subjective skin. So I hope you're benefiting from this video. <coughs> and if you are benefiting, simply make sure that you hit the like button on this video because it helps YouTube push the channel to many people who are interested in benefiting from these kinds of videos and learning 
more about editing photos and photography in general so i'm just going to try to remove or clear away majority of these skin imperfections so after removing the blemishes it is time to go to a third part of photo editing which is the color grading process so you are going to close the group for our frequent separation and you can see the before and after for just smoothening the skin so it is time to create even skin tones or even skin color <coughs> so in order to create even skin tones or even skin color we are simply going to create a stamp visible layer by pressing shift option command e on the keyboard then for windows to shift alternate ctrl e to create a stamp visible layer and simply duplicate this layer by pressing ctrl j or you can use command j on the keyboard and after doing that just come to the new layer icon and create an empty layer and after creating that empty layer we are simply going to come to the blend mode and change it from normal and change it all the way down to color then come back to this layer below the empty layer and simply come to select and come to subject so as photoshop can select the subject for us because at this point we just want to create even skin tones or even skin color for our model or for our subject so photoshop is going to select the area so when it comes to painting over the skin of our model we can simply paint within the borders or the boundaries of the skin so right now the subject has been selected it's time to come back to the empty layer that we created initially before and come right click and get the brush tool make sure for your settings it is a soft round brush the mode is set to normal opacity in the flat hundred percent and we're just going to sample a color that we want the rest of the skin to look like so i'm just going to come and sample a color hold on the option key on the keyboard and left click on a color that you want the rest of the skin to look like so you can even sample from that color option then for windows is alternate and left click to sample that color and after sampling with this layer still selected it is time to paint on only the skin so i'm just going to come and quickly paint over my model skin just like that and by just doing this you can see it is very easy to create even skin tones but don't mind if at all it is a little bit oversaturated because we can correct that later on so i'm just going to paint and if at all you make a mistake we can always rectify or correct that error or that kind of mistake so i'm just going to paint on the fingers and the hands in this case so i'm just going to paint quickly on each and every that has skin because we don't want to leave out any specific area regarding the even skin tones so this is the first step for the color grading process that we are going to be doing for this very image so step number one is evening out of the skin tones or evening out of the skin color of our model or of our subject so make sure you zoom all the way in so that you can identify even the smallest areas of your subjective skin and you don't leave out any particular areas so keep away from painting on the lipstick because you don't want to change or distort the original color of the model's makeup so if at all you have made any mistake or error you can simply come and get the eraser tool with the eraser tool selected the mode is set to brush opacity in the flat hundred percent you can simply come and paint over the areas that you did not want to paint in the first place like the eyes some parts of her clothes or the outfit so i'm just going to paint away using the eraser tool in those particular areas you can see that we had accidentally painted on this area of her nice outfit so i'm just going to paint just like that to rub away or erase these colors from affecting the outfit so i'll come the lower part of the hand and also use a very small brush and paint just between the fingers so that we don't create any kind of imperfection in those areas so you can press b on the keyboard once again for the brush to paint back the color if at all you erase the color that you wanted so the eraser tool is to rub away 
or correct areas that you may have accidentally painted on while you are using the brush tool. So after painting, command minus to zoom out, you can see the skin is now looking uniform, but this is oversaturated. So first of all, deselect the active selection by pressing Ctrl D, or you can use command D on the keyboard. So the effect is too much and the skin is looking unnatural and unrealistic. So just come the opacity and reduce on the opacity so that it can look a little bit more natural and a little bit more realistic. So we are just going to be using an opacity of around 50% and you can see the before, after, before, after. And when you feel like the effect is too much for your liking, you can always come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Come and make sure you select the reds and come to lightness and simply take down the lightness so that the effect can look a little bit more realistic. And I feel like that is okay for us. So after doing this, you can now come and add an adjustment layer, which is uh, the color balance. And you can come to the midtones and add a tiny bit of greens to our midtones, just a tiny bit of around one or two to the midtones to reduce on the reds in the skin area. So we are going to come and create one final selective color adjustment layer and come to the blacks and simply take the cyan slider of the blacks just to around five and also come the blacks and just intensify on the blacks slightly. So you can see what this has contributed to the image just the before and after. So after doing this, you can as well do a little bit of eye whitening by simply coming and creating one final hue and saturation adjustment layer. Take the saturation slider of the master to around negative 76. Then press Ctrl I or you can use Command I on the keyboard to invert the effect. You can come the brushes, get the normal brush tool. Mod the set to normal or pass in the flat 100%. Make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches. And you can reset to black and white by using Olive clicking on these two swatches. So with white as a foreground color, you are simply going to zoom into the model's eyes. And with the brush tool selected, you are simply going to reduce on the size and paint using white on the black mask to reveal the eye whitening effect. So I'll just paint just like that. So right now, this is what we have been able to achieve in Photoshop in just three simple steps. And let me show you the overall before and after. So this is the image before, after, before, after, before, and after. So this is how you can edit an image in Photoshop. And finally, to save the image, simply come to File, Export, and come to Export As. And it's going to open up the Export As dialog box in Photoshop. And make sure the format is set to JPEG. Quality to the maximum, which is 7 for this case. And make sure the resample is set by Cubic Sharper. And make sure these two options the first one is the color space convert srgb and embed color profile and simply click on export and it is going to save the image in whatever location that you choose so this is how you can edit a photo in photoshop from the start to the very end and if i told you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if i told you have been watching and you're not a subscriber to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for your, and i see you need more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.